I don't think I've done one of these self-interviews the whole trip, so today feels like a good day to do one before the ride is over. And uh, just leaving Paris, Texas, which is not far from the Oklahoma border. I was really excited to pedal into the Lone Star State yesterday. There's a lot of people down here who are fighting this tar sands pipeline who are very excited to be meeting us. So we're here to support them in any way that we can over the coming two weeks. And we'll be meeting with a bunch of them uh, tonight, tomorrow. So really looking forward to that, building the resistance. So heading south out of Paris right now. Just uh, Ron and I just did a, uh, Ron's right behind me. We just did a uh, great interview with uh, the Paris News local paper. And uh, the reporter, I really enjoyed talking with him. He's, uh, he's old school. He's been reporting since 1950. And he's just got that look and that demeanor. You know, he writes everything down by hand. He's got his notebook. Just a really thoughtful guy. You know, just kind of looks at you, studies you when you're talking to him. Old school reporter, man. It's really cool to see that they're still around. And uh, I really respect that trade. I really do. And, uh, what made it even sweeter was when we left, he said, I, I really appreciate what you guys are doing. So that was pretty special. So anyway, um, it's sunny today for the first time in four days. It's still in the 30s in Texas, do you believe it? But uh, we're going to get up into the 40s today, so that's going to be great. Tomorrow, 50s, and that'll be beautiful riding weather. Today's beautiful riding weather. As long as the sun's out, we're good. A little cold, but good. So, that's the story from the front lines of Tour of Resistance. We'll have a lot more for you as we begin meeting all of our allies here in the Lone Star State. I guess before I sign off, I just have one question for the governor and current, at least, presidential candidate, Rick Perry. For someone who prides herself on law and order, why are you letting a foreign corporation mess with Texas? That's what I'd like to know. Ponder that one.